back here on Girl Talk. I'm having a great old time today, man. We're talking about power tools and all kinds of good stuff. Now we're going to talk about HVAC. Uh -huh. I love it. And it is fun, Janet. You hadn't met her before, but mm -hmm. she is a storyteller. Absolutely. She is a client advocate, mm -hmm. and they adore her. Well, she's very personal. She really I've already figured that out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, here's the thing. Do people call and grumble about the heat index? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't even know what that really means. Well, main, the mainly it's just like... <laughs> It's just like the last few days okay. where we've got like 106, 107 heat index. Oh, yeah. what, it, what it feels yeah. like. Oh, yes. got it. Okay, got it's it. The, got it's it. the feel like temperature. Oh, so the, it doesn't the have to do with what the thermometer exactly. says. Exactly. It's with it's, the humidity, but okay. it's the feel of. And what does it feel like right now? Gross. Well, today we're supposed Wet. to be 106 heat index. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's so, it really? So that's yes. not really. So healthy. yesterday was 107. So one thing that I, we have found is with the customers, they will immediately call you if their their thermostat set on 75 right mm -hmm. and it jumps to 77 and an upstairs system full of windows with lots of sunlight coming through it okay I swear and it to God, pointing I... right at the thermostat you know what I'm saying and it just it's just, they'll call and they freak totally I out called of yesterday right. did okay. you I really? swear to God yes. she's okay. talking about you no okay. are you, <laughs> I called yesterday because I always keep mine at 73 and it was 75 when I came in there so you thought it was like these but things can cannot, they yeah. can fluctuate anywhere up to five to six degrees from but the thermostat but should we drop the thermostat according, if it goes up where it is no and what it is it's only going to get within that length and now if you if you if it's 107 heat index outside and your temperature goes more than four or five degrees more than the thermostat and you've got an upstairs system like I said with a lot of windows mm -hmm. or even even a thermostat on a wall that the sunlight mm -hmm. comes through and it's pointing at that thermostat any of those times mm -hmm. soon as that sun goes down temperature is going to drop just like that. Right. It's because of the heat index and it'll only do it if that heat index is extreme. Hmm. We're only talking that. Last night I had a, a gentleman that said, I've got two systems, neither one of them's working, Nina. And I told him, and I went through the whole thing, and I said to him, I said, where are they located? What systems are you talking about? You know, where are they located? And what's your thermostat set on? So he told me, well, I've got one on 75, uh, 71, and it's re reading 75. I wow. told him, I said, it's because of the temperature outside. It's because of the humidity and everything in the air. It's Never the heat index. So is it yeah. important he, for us to, like, close blinds and plantation yes, shutters and make sure absolutely. When you sure got this kind of stuff, yeah, when it, when it gets that extreme heat out there, mm -hmm. you're going to want to protect it as much as you can, especially the thermostats. Okay. What's a realistic expectation of how many degrees above room temperature it could be outside for you to keep it at that room temperature? Normally, if it is somewhere like in the 80s, okay. even 90s, you're not going to see a whole lot of fluctuation. It's only if that heat index is extreme, Way like the temperature is 90 and the, the heat index is 107. Now, you does, know what I mean? does heat index affect the greenery too? I mean, with well, heat index certainly affects our employees out oh, there that yeah, are working. Absolutely. No, that you no. know, they, you know, you the have, we do a lot of training on staying hydrated never and thought about that. you know yeah, you do too. being yeah. in the shade if possible and pacing yourself because it's it's challenging to be out there for eight hours a day oh, yeah. do no, they I try never. to get out real early and kind of beat the we do heat. start early exactly mm -hmm. we yeah. do try yeah. to and you don't, start early with our yeah, guys how do you do yeah it? We, we don't want our guys in the attics we don't, if they're going to be oh, in the attic gosh. it's going to be early of the morning oh, it's goodness. not going to be late in the evening if they've got a job that they got to do yeah, inside of an attic those attics can get 150 160 degrees you know and you tell them no Take a break, you know, every so often take a break, you know, keep hydrated. Plus, we get we buy them those little towel like things. Mm -hmm. I always order them every year, oh, put around their cool. necks to keep them cool. Yeah, oh, I never yeah. thought, oh, yeah, do you guys have that too? Mm -hmm. Like Sea Breeze, and mm -hmm. it used to be if you put uh, washcloths in mm -hmm. Sea Breeze in a cooler. I, Seriously, Another no, thing honestly, to learn. Wow. I swear to God, this is an educational program. This is, of yes, course, we like, takeaway. We like takeaways in our programs, <laughs> oh, yes. but sea breeze in a washcloth in a cooler, and it takes it takes about three times the amount of time for it to dry, and it's cool, and it's not as wet. So it's oh, yeah, there you go. Interesting, oh, well, but that heat it. index. Ooh, I you know I kind of always wondered. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. All right, you guys, we're going to take a quick break. We're all hot and sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> like, ew. Stay with us. There's more to come here on Girl Talk. <laughs>